Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Hello, welcome to the Atom Radio podcast. It is episode 40 of the best bits of drive time on Atom Radio, Monday to Friday, three until seven. Now, this week, a bit of a rush to get the podcast out for you because um, I've got lots to do to get ready for a, a big weekend. Why a big weekend, you say? It's the Coventry Finals weekend, playoff finals for ice hockey this weekend. If you are listening to this in the future, it's the 13th and 14th of April at the Coventry Sky Dome. Graham from breakfast and I will be on the commentary over the weekend. And if you want, there's a live stream you can buy. Obviously, if you're listening to this before the event happens, there's also a DVD you can order if you're listening to it after the event happens. That's happening this weekend, then the big ice hockey weekend. On episode 40 of the podcast, we talk drivers and um, worrying statistics about drivers. We talk about Easter as well. Kids parties, how to invite children to parties in the new tech generation. Also mention uh, toddlers and tech, why it is they don't always go together. An outrageous food hack that could see you get your food for virtually nothing. 2019's in baby names, some of them I've never, ever heard of misheard lyrics in songs and also is facebook always listening that and more for you on the podcast episode 40 on atom radio's drive time podcast settle back grab yourself a cup of get a coffee get yourself whatever you want turn it up here we go with the best bits podcast Denim, 23 past three, Monday's drive time on atomradio.co.uk, on TuneIn and iTunes Radio, and your smart speaker as well. In the news, at least a dozen Premier League stars are being treated for addiction to video game sensation Fortnite after playing started to affect their form on the pitch. I... If I'm honest, I don't get the addiction. I know a lot of parents say their children have an addiction to it. I don't get the addiction to um, video gaming, but then I've never been a gamer. So, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to avoid me, isn't it? I think that one. Drive time with Mark Denny. Hello to you. If you have just gone online, you are very, very welcome. You've missed the first hour, but we are here until seven o'clock today. Bad news for the ladies. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, Bad news, though, for the local residents near to our studios here in Slough. Slough has been revealed as one of the five most accident prone locations in the UK. This is according to a uh, research study undertaken by MoneySupermarket.com. Uh, Slough is the fifth most accident-prone town in the UK, which is worrying. Um, Watford is uh, the worst accident-prone town. St Albans, Hemel, Hempstead, Sutton, and then Slough in the list. But the bad news for women is statistically it's now proven that women are not as good drivers as men. 19% of women were involved in car accidents over the last five years in comparison to 16.7% of men. So there we are. It's now statistically proven that men are obviously better drivers than women. Hello, by the way, to you. If you are a lady listening today, I'm just teasing you. Drive, 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 drive time with Mark Denham. Monday's drive time from Atom Radio on atomradio.co.uk, on TuneIn, on iTunes Radio and Smart Speaker. A couple of weeks away from Easter, which is quite late this year, isn't it? One thing I don't understand, and I'm hoping that somebody can explain this. Easter is a religious festival celebrating the death and rebirth of Jesus Christ, okay? Christmas is a religious festival celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, the baby Jesus. This happens on the 25th of December every year, all right? So he has his birthday or or the anniversary of his birthday on the 25th of December every year, and that's the day he was born. How come then Easter moves every year? Because surely he didn't die and become resurrected on a different day every year. If the anniversary of his birth, which is Christmas, the 25th of December, is the 25th of December every single year, and that's that's what an anniversary would be, like my birthday is the 12th of December every year, people's wedding anniversary will be the same day every year. How come Easter, which is a religious festival celebrating an anniversary of the death and the resurrection, how come that changes day every year? 
Could somebody explain that? If you can, on air at atomradio.co.uk. I'm not having a dig at religion or anything here. I just don't fully understand how Christmas, which is a religious festival, is on the same day every year, and Easter, which is a religious festival, is on a different day every year. How? Please, please explain if you can. Drive time with Mark Denham. Imagine if you are Evan Osnos. He is a US journalist and he has an iPad and a toddler. Well, the two of them together have uh, not gone well. The iPad has been locked for 25,536,442 minutes, which is approximately 48 years. How many times did the toddler try and type in the wrong password, though, for that to happen? Um, he has tweeted, uh-oh, uh, this looks fake, but alas, it is our iPad today. After the three-year-old tried to unlock it, ideas, question mark. Well, your answer is a uh, DFU, restore. Um, but yeah, you know, that, that's that's crazy though, isn't it? I've locked your iPad, Dad, for um, 48 years. Good luck. Drive, 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 drive time with Mark Denham. A little-known hack that allows McDonald's customers to eat for free has been revealed. Two friends demonstrated this on a self-serve screen in a video posted to Reddit yesterday. It was put to the test in Australia. Um, by ordering 10 pattyless $1 burgers, customers can score a regular $1 hamburger for a grand total of $0. Hang on. I'm confused here. If you order 10... One dollar burgers without the burger. How do you get the burger? Removing the meat from the ten burgers discounts each meal by one. Ah, all right. Removing the meat from the ten burgers discounts each meal by one dollar ten, providing the customers with a surplus that covers the cost of the additional regular burger. So there you are. If you want to go and bankrupt uh, McDonald's, now you know what to do. Shouldn't really have said that, should I? Yeah! Mark Denham. Denham. So I've just noticed there's a little knot in my headphone wire. That's annoying me greatly. I'll sort it. A school has banned parents from invite or handing out the... Uh, well, they've banned children from handing out the birthday party invites in school, saying that it is upsetting for the children who are excluded. Kids can be cutthroat and parents can be pretty mean as well when planning parties and gatherings. This is a school, Mosman Public School in Sydney. They've now implemented a rule whereby party invites have to be sent by email. Well... That, that's slightly different to my day, isn't it? You know, how many how many children at primary school have email? You know, can you imagine that going around the class? I don't, you see, the thing is, how does it solve it, though? Because you're going to have to go around the class. Can I have your email, please? I want to send you a birthday party invite. And still children are going to be left out. Does it solve anything? Probably not. Drive time with Mark Denner. It's the big drive home at 3.37 in the UK. Old names are making a comeback. You know, we mentioned before on drive time, like some names you don't hear, like more. Uh, you don't hear that anymore. There is that Mabel, isn't there? Mabel's song, which we are playing at the moment. But the um, baby names, uh, vintage baby names or antique baby names are currently making a comeback. The uh, the top options right now for antique baby names, Arthur, all right, Atticus. I've never, ever met anybody called Atticus or never heard of anyone called Atticus in my life. Audrey, yeah, from Coronation Street. Clementine, Eliza, Emmeline, Jasper. Yeah, Jasper Cara. Margaret, Rose and Theodore. I do know someone who's actually called Theodore, you see. So I do know someone with one of those names, but I'm just trying to think. I don't know anyone with any of the others. Drive time with Mark Denham. Saturn Radio's Wednesday drive time at half past four. Headlines on the way. We did mention earlier the Russian Instagram star who's added all these Sforsky crystals to her Lamborghini. Well, another Instagram star who's 21 and from Florida. She's called Jessie Taylor. She's uh, released a video sobbing over the prospect of a nine to five job, insists that she isn't cut out for work after her account boasting 113,000 followers was deleted. She says that she's worthless and has has no skills to get a normal job. Now, it doesn't say here, um, doesn't say here why her account was taken down. Um, aha, it is believed Instagram deleted her account after it was reported as spam by trolls. She's saying that she relies on Instagram for her income. Now, 113,000 followers isn't as many as some people have, and yet that's now a career path. Instagram. 
Wow. Drive, 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 drive time with Mark Denham. I found a uh, an American article about Cadbury's mini eggs, you know, the uh, the sweets, and there's something I never realised here. This article is basically saying that Cadbury's mini eggs are the only good thing about spring and we need to talk about it. Now, if you've never had some of these, then you've you got to get yourself some. But what I wanted to say was there's a picture of Cadbury's mini eggs in this news article and they're like in a, a blue packet, like a dairy milk blue packet with um, white and pink writing. That's not how they come in the UK. They come in a yellow packet in the UK. But irrelevant of the, the packet colour and that, they are absolutely gorgeous. They are the best thing about Easter, without a doubt. Right, Ed Sheeran's Castle on the Hill for you on the big drive home after Janet Kay and Silly Games. Drive time with Mark Denham. Six two five. It's Wednesday's drive time. I'm just wondering, right? Chocolate is chocolate, but then if you think about it, like these Cadbury's mini eggs, they're gorgeous. I don't know how they make them taste so different to other chocolate, but then the one taste thing that's always, always eluded me: if you get chips from a fish and chip shop, why is it they always taste so much nicer than any chip you can make yourself? What do they do with them? If you work in a fish and chip shop, please tell me. Explain. Drive time with Mark Denham. This petition, I did promise you, didn't I? I tell you, nearly 20,000 people have signed an online petition in a bid to save Flintstone Home at the centre of a planning row. The house is an architectural homage to the 1960s cartoon, The Flintstones. It's been a landmark in Hillsborough in California since it was built back in 1976. However, the addition of colourful mushroom ornaments and dinosaur sculptures by new owner Florence Fang. What a great name, Florence Fang. Sure, she's not a Dracula fan. Uh, the addition of these last year has met with the, the ire of planning officials who say the property is now a public nuisance and landscaping was added without permits. Nearly 20,000 people have uh, signed this. Mrs. Fang, who is 83, I love that, Mrs. Fang. Can you imagine, like, you know, oh, no, she's not Mrs., she's Miss Fang. So, yeah, maybe she should get married and lose the Fang. Um, Perhaps she should marry a dentist. Anyway, Miss Fang, who bought the house last year at the age of 83, recently added dozens of colourful mushroom ornaments and animal sculptures in the grounds, uh, before passing by, I always wondered who's living in that house. Now I'm the one, Fang told reporters. I love the fact she's called Fang. I really do. That's, in fact, better than the whole story itself. Yeah! Mark Denham, Denham. Thursday's drive time on Atom Radio. This tattoo man then. Uh, the man got a uh, tattoo for a bet while on a lad's holiday. He's now got it covered up in the tattoo fixers colon extreme uh, it was on last night on the e4 show a guy called daniel he's 21 comes from lincolnshire he visited the uh tattoo fixers extreme parlor following a self-confessed stupid tattoo that he got in cavos a friend had dared him 50 pounds to get a tattoo to show how much he loves his job as a shelf stacker in tesco all right so he's got this tattoo on his chest of the tesco logo just one problem he now feels that it may stop him getting a job from anywhere else so he has turned to tattoo fixers extreme to try and get this uh sorted out do you know what if 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 you've seen it you've seen it if you haven't seen it then should i tell you should i tell you what happens or no i won't just in case you want to check it out but yeah anyway there you go if you're going to cavos this year don't get drunk and don't get a tattoo of tesco's drive time with mark denham Baby bird and you're gorgeous. We all know someone that's gorgeous. Well, maybe we don't. I'm fortunate. I do. I do know someone who is gorgeous. So, yeah. Hello, Sean. Drive, 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 drive time with Mark Denham. What does he actually say there? Hang on one second. Uh, what does he actually... Right, wait one second. I'm just having a little look. Let me see what he says at the end. I think, well, I know what I think I hear, but I don't know if it actually is it or not. Uh, What does he say? Uh, Hang on. Uh, I can't find it. Cannot find it. This is not the right song, is it? No. No, I tell you why I can't find it. I'm looking at the lyrics for a song called Sledgehammer by Fifth Harmony. That doesn't help me at all, does it? trying to find the uh, lyrics of the right song. Um, 
Um, here we are. Right, let's have a look now. See if I can find out what it is that he actually says at the end. Uh, where are we? Where's the end of this song? Um, oh, this is so long. Oh, no. No, he says, I've been feeding the rhythm. All this time, I thought he actually said, I've been peeing in the river. Mark Denham, Denham. New order, true faith on the big drive home. It is Friday, the 12th of April. It's nine after three. Hello, hope you're very well. You've got Mark with you on atomradio.co.uk, on TuneIn, on iTunes Radio, on your smart speaker too. And we're off and running. Music on the way from the Waterboy, something from Lou Reed. A little bit of Chainsmokers, five seconds of summer to do for you. Your Friday poll, it's been announced that gingerbread men are going to be phased out for gingerbread people. Nonsense or make sense? That's your Friday poll. Nonsense or make sense? This is the uh, the gingerbread men being phased out for gingerbread people. It's ridiculous, I think. They've always been gingerbread man. What a load of old rubbish. Drive time with Mark Denny. This story about the cyclists relieving themselves on a tree. It cannot be legal, can it? But then I'm thinking, in the UK, if you have a dog and your dog poops and you leave it there, you can be fined for doing so. All right. So if your dog poops while you're out walking and you don't clean it, then you get a fine. I think it's up to a thousand pounds for not cleaning up your dog poo. And yet horse riders, they ride on the road and the horse just stops and goes to the toilet. Do they get off, tether the horse up and clean up the poo? No, they don't. Do they get fined for it? No. How's that fair? Drive, 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 drive time with Mark Denner. I told you I was going to talk about Facebook. And I must admit, I've made changes on my phone and my iPad in order to try and combat this. But I remember mentioning last year that I thought that Facebook was listening based on the adverts that I then get served. Now... I think even more about this because last week uh, a friend and I spoke about sat-navs on the mobile. Now, I have an iPhone. I use Apple Maps. He, however, uses Waze on his uh, Samsung phone, and he was telling me how good Waze is. Now, I've, I've not got Waze on my phone. I've not looked at Waze on my phone, and yet it comes up in my adverts on Facebook and on Instagram. All right. So, um, you know, dismiss it. Coincidence, dismiss it. But then on Tuesday, as you know, I wasn't here Tuesday because I took my son out on Tuesday. He's three and a half and he's, you know, he's discovering the world around him and he's, he's well into BMWs now. So he's asking me about BMWs and we must have spoken about BMWs loads. Like, you know, this BMW, that BMW, what series it is. What's in my Facebook ads the next day? BMWs. I swear, you know, because on your iPhone, the uh, the phone is always listening. If you were to say, hey, Siri, there it is. You see, Siri has come up. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, the iPhone is always listening. I swear that Facebook is also always listening. So I have now turned off in my privacy settings microphone access for Facebook and for Instagram because, of course, Facebook owns Instagram. We will see whether that makes any changes. Has something similar happened to you? Atom Radio. I'd like it noted that I have changed the settings on my phone now and on my iPad. Facebook and Instagram, both of whom are owned by Facebook, no longer have access to the microphone. So I'm going to see how this goes and see whether Facebook still plops up ads to things that I've never, ever looked at or for on my phone now that it can't actually hear me anymore. The only downside is you can't do live videos and that anymore because there's no access to the microphone. But I'm sure you can change that back if you want to do access to live videos. That'll do for the 40th episode of the Drive Time Podcast. Episode 41 will be out next weekend. Make sure you subscribe and you'll get notified when it comes out. Big weekend, as I mentioned at the start of the podcast, the uh, finals weekend. What worries me a little bit about the finals weekend is that just before Christmas, I got a cold. And I've not fully shifted it yet. And my voice is still not quite as it should be yet. But um, just just take deep breaths. 
get on with it. Graham's doing the bulk of the work anyway, so we're all okay. Thank you for listening to the podcast today. As I say, you can subscribe and then you will be notified next time the podcast comes out, episode 41. Check out the show Monday to Friday, probably Tuesday to Friday this week, 3 until 7 on atomradio.co.uk. Have yourself a good week. Denim, denim. Atom Radio.com